Hello and welcome to the Crystal Demonstration, Clinical Research Interactive Selection Tool developed and presented by RDP Clinical Outsourcing. The RDP business model is such that we are able to identify regional monitors within a geographic location that are able to support high concentrations of sites. Here you can see a full map of the United States in which we have sites mapped to show their exact location and those monitors that are qualified to manage those sites by therapeutic indication. Using CRYSTAL in the planning stages of any clinical trial allows us to identify sites that we may want to include in study feasibility. Feasibility would be conducted to assess the primary investigator's interest in conducting the clinical trial, the availability of the patient population, whether or not the site has a study coordinator on site, and if they have any equipment that might be necessary for the conduct of the clinical trial. Once we have a rough idea of where the site locations will be, we're able to identify resources that may manage those sites, including their years of experience. So what feeds CRYSTAL, our Clinical Research Interactive Selection Tool? We use a proprietary software platform to collect data from the back end, including data sources that are therapeutically aligned investigator database, the therapeutically aligned clinical resources, and the therapeutic areas that we focus on presently are cardiovascular, central nervous system, infectious disease, metabolic endocrinology, and oncology. It includes an interactive display, which is the front end, which is our mapping platform, which you just saw. There are numerous benefits to utilizing the RDP clinical outsourcing model, including the quality and experience of our staff. Specific to the CRYSTAL platform is that it gives a visual graphic depiction of resources along with an overlap of the sites. We're able to strategically recognize efficiencies during the planning. This in turn results in less travel, which equals lower overall costs through employee labor time, decrease in flights, decrease in hotel stays, a decrease in team turnover, and regional ownership of the sites by the monitors. To give you a sense of what the map icons denote and what they identify, We've just provided a very brief example here. As you can see, the building represents a clinical site. This site is qualified within our investigator database as being capable of conducting the clinical research for the therapeutic area that they've been identified. We have a number of identifying pieces of information that go along with each icon, which we're able to tap into again in the conduct or identification of sites to participate in the feasibility of the clinical trial. Here, as we did with the sites, we're able to click on the monitor, gather identifying information in which to assess their appropriateness for the clinical trial. They have an identifier within our system. We have their first and last name, their title, their general location for purposes of this demo, this is a blinded demo, and their years of experience. When using the actual system, we use unblinded information so we are able to identify complete histories of the individuals contained in our database. Using distance rings can aid us in identifying those sites and monitors for the conduct of a clinical trial. The distance rings that we have currently represent 10 miles, which is the green inner circle. Then we jump to 25 miles, which is the yellow second circle. And then we jump to 50 miles, which is the pink outer circle. We're able to adjust the mileage based on any preferences of the sponsors that we work with. We generally take a wider view of the entire nation in order to identify site concentrations. In doing so, we are able to identify those areas that have high concentrations of clinical sites. For the purposes of this demonstration, we've selected oncology as our general indication. Certainly, sites will need to be further drilled down into in order to understand whether or not they're capable of performing the specific therapeutic indication. However, the concentrations give us a bit of visibility into and whether or not we would like to go to a geographic location. For the purposes of this demonstration, we've assumed that the sponsor has provided the key opinion leader, or KOL, which is going to recruit patients through the Disney Family Center located here in Los Angeles, California. Then in order to identify the concentration of sites, we will find other individual clinical sites within that geographic area. As you can see here, we're able to identify a number of sites that we will contact in order to conduct feasibility. Then in order to fully recognize the potential of RDP clinical outsourcing's model, we would identify the clinical monitors that may be charged with managing those sites. We certainly would need to assess their availability, their interest, 
uh, the amount of time that they may have available in order to manage those sites, but we're able to reduce the carbon footprint and at the same time save a client significant dollars in travel and pass-through expenses. So what can be concluded from the use of the RDP clinical outsourcing model as opposed to a traditional outsourcing model and the use of the Crystal platform? Following a meeting with any potential client we may have to identify high concentrations of sites, we would conduct site feasibility or provide a list for the sponsor to conduct feasibility in which interest can be assessed, the availability of the patient population, any competing studies, and the necessary equipment if they have it on site. The project manager and monitors would be contacted to assess their experience, their location, and we would be able to provide the sponsor with blinded CVs. The availability of staff is also critical, including the percentage of time that would be required based on how many sites would be in their region, as well as the percentage of time the individual monitors and project manager have available. Furthering the next steps, RDP would provide deliverables, including a proposal with team structure that we would recommend, services to be completed, a forecasted budget, blinded CVs, and a blinded site list for consideration by our sponsor. At that point, we would expect the sponsor to review the information presented and comment on the acceptability of our proposal, as well as any modifications that, that may be requested. We will do our best in order to accommodate any suggested changes. Thank you for watching the Crystal demonstration presented by RDP Clinical Outsourcing. We can be contacted at any of the following resources, and we hope to hear from you soon.